Ancient Squad. Welcome back to Solo. Is it worth it? So today's episode, we got this cool underground here, and basically what this is, is a projector. And we see for the one that we got right here is a Nebula brand that's also under the Anchor brand. And for this one in particular, they call it Capsule, which is probably one of the oldest projectors that they do have for the first ever one that came out from this brand. So if you actually seen my previous video, I actually viewed one of these long time ago, which is a black color. This time I do have a different color, so I want to open up to show you guys what it actually looks like. And I also brought you guys some feedback and update for the product in terms of how well it's been and how well it's been working ever since I got it to now, which has been like over two years or more than two years. So obviously the way how they designed this, it is a portable projector. So that way I can bring it along with you guys anywhere and use it anytime, as long as the product is fully charged. And the way how they designed the product is basically the size of the soda can, which is pretty small if you guys do think about it. And just like any of the other projectors from this brand, they do use Android TV. And if you guys turn on the side right here, they do mention how the product does have a 360 surround sound when you guys do use it. And if you guys turn to the back, they do probably got some specs and a feature about the product as well. But here is basically what the package looks like with this one. Let me actually open up to show you guys what's included inside. So if I do peel it from the side, if you guys open up, here is basically what the inside looks like. If you guys take this part out, I'm assuming inside right here we do have the accessory. And then right underneath that, I'm see we do have the projector. So before I take out the projector, I want to take out everything else to show you guys what's included. So let's start with this one right here first. If you guys do pull it out. Inside they do probably guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And then right here, you can see we do have the remote. So I can see this is what the remote looks like when you guys do take it out. Next up, let's check out the other box, which is right here. If you guys do open it. Inside they do prior the wall charger with a USB option. Right here they do prior the USB to micro USB cable. You can definitely use that to charge the product. And next up right here, they do probably have another accessory if you guys do need to use it. Maybe if you guys want to connect like a fire TV or something. And then the last thing inside, they do probably have the battery that can use for the remote control. Or you can use your own as well. But basically for remote control, it does require two AAA battery. And that is basically everything that's included in the package. Now let me show you guys the actual projector. So if you guys do take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So right here, we do have the lens. So we have the product inside, we do have the speaker. Fan part right here, we do have the brand logo or the brand name. On the side right here, you can see we do have the manual focus option. Back part right here, we do have the inflator receiver. On the bottom, you can see we do have the HDMI option. And here we do have a micro USB option. When you guys look at the bottom, you can see we do have a slot for the tripod if you guys want to use a tripod. Or if you guys want to put a flat surface, you definitely can as well. You can see how they do have like, the non stick material on the bottom. And then right here on top is basically what the product looks like. So they do have like the power button, play and pause button, plus and minus, and etc. And obviously, if it's the first time using the product, you do want to remove the film in the front. Just like that. And like I mentioned, for the one that we got right here, it is a red color. They do have this available in a few other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see what you prefer. So before I test this out, let me plug in cable to show you guys how to charge it. Alright, so I do plug in the back. Once you guys do plug it in, and you see the top part lights up. So that is basically how you guys know when it's charging. I'm assuming once it's fully charged, the light will turn off or stays on. But now let's turn it on to show you guys whether or not the product works wired and wireless. So you basically want to press the power button on top. And then once you guys do turn it on, if you can hear it does turn on. If you can hear the fan in the back. And you can see right here when you guys do turn it on, if you can see it does work. So you definitely have the option to use it wired. But if you guys do unplug it, it still works. So really cool how it does give you guys the option to use it wired or wireless. And because of how portable the projector is, you definitely have the option to bring it forward like this make it smaller or you can pull it back to make the screen much wider and when you guys look at the quality of the image that's on here it definitely is pretty high quality but you can see it's kind of blurry so you guys have to use the manual focus option to focus it so just like that you can see how much more clear it is once you guys do set it up but obviously if you guys want to get the best quality of the projector you guys want to use it on a white setting or white wall and if you guys use it in dark setting it'll look a lot better so i'm going to turn off the light to show you guys what i mean all right, so you see once you guys do turn off the light, you can see how much clearer the actual projector is when you guys do use it. But like I mentioned, if you guys use in the white background, it'll look a lot better. So you definitely have the option to control it manually on here, or you have to use remote control. So let's put in the battery first. All right, let's close back up. And if you guys turn back off the light, let's try to use the remote control. All right, so you see the remote control does work. All right, so we got connected on the Wi-Fi. And then right here is basically what the product looks like once you guys do turn it on. So as you guys do have a lot of different options available. You do have Amazon, YouTube, Netflix, and etc. And you guys have the HDMI option, the file manager, app manager, and etc. as well. And then for top right here, it does show you guys the Bluetooth option, the Wi-Fi option, the battery life, and the time as well. 
But let's say we turn something on, it will ask you guys to install it. So install it first. Hey, just well, welcome back to the Airs is worth it. So today's episode, we got this cool under right here, and basically what this is is a brand new case from the Case of Five brand. So I'm see the image quality on here definitely looks pretty good, and also the audio quality that's on here also performed pretty good as well. But obviously, because we do have it in a backdrop, the performance is not as good. So if you guys do use it in a white backdrop, or if you guys use it in a white background, it'll look a lot better. Let me bring this over to white background to show you guys what the product looks like, and then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. So once you guys do set it up in the white background, this is what the product looks like. So you see the product definitely looks a lot better in a white background, but because we do have it in a bright setting, it doesn't look as clear. Let me turn off the light to show you guys what the product looks like. All right, so once you guys do turn off the light, and we see this is what the product looks like. Let me see how much clearer the product looks like when you guys do turn it off the light and use it in a dark setting. If you guys do play the video. So for the middle section, we do have the MagSafe option, and it's throughout the case when you guys do feel it, it actually feels like a high quality material. And you see for the bounce case, they do have a lot of- All right, so you see this is basically what the product looks like when you guys do use it. If you see it definitely looks pretty good when you guys do use it in a white background. And if you guys want to use a mouse option, you definitely have the option to use a mouse if you guys want to. And if you guys want to increase the lower the volume, you definitely have the option available as well. So very easy and very simple for you to use the product. But that is basically what the product looks like. If you see it does work. All right, come back guys. So let's a quick test of product. Definitely actually does work and actually works quite well. If you see when you guys using the white background, it actually looks a lot better. But then here from the audio quality on here, it definitely sounds pretty good and it's really loud. But you do have the option to increase the lower the volume on here and change all different settings on here as well. And the cool thing about the product is the fact that you do have the option to control it manually on the actual device. Or you can also connect it onto the Netflix Connect app so that you can control it on your phone as well. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Now I'm actually giving you guys a little bit of feedback about the product in terms of how well it's been working. Since I've been using this one for over two years already because I already have a different color version like I mentioned. So definitely the first thing I want to know about the product is the fact that it's super portable like I mentioned. So that would bring along with you guys almost anywhere. Just like the other ones that they do have. Which is Nebula Apollo and also the Nebula Capsule 2. And obviously they do have a few other ones as well. But those are the ones that I do have that's super portable. Second thing that I want to talk about is the quality of the image that's on here. It actually performed pretty good. But if you guys compare it to like the Capital 2 or the Apollo, it's not as good. The Apollo and the Capital 2 is actually a lot better since so they actually have a lot more lumen on there. Whereas this one's only 100 lumen. Third thing, it would have to be the audio or the speaker that's on here. It actually performed pretty good. I love the fact that how they do give you guys that 360 surround sound or 360 audio, just like any of the other projectors as well. But I mentioned because this is one of the oldest projector or the first one that ever came out, obviously the audio quality won't be as good as the newer one that just came out recently. And the fourth thing would probably be the user interface. If you guys compare the user interface for this one versus the other one that they do have, such as the Apollo, the Capital 2, the Solar, the Cosmo, and etc. This one definitely has like, the most basic user interface that's not as cool as the other one with the newer version of the Android device. So those are some of my feedbacks about the product after using it for over two years. When I compare this one to the other one that I've used so far that's the newer version of the projector that they do have on the Nebula brand, this one is definitely the most budget or the most basic one because it's like the first generation projector from the brand. But it's pretty cool how the product is super portable and this has been lasting so long for me. But that is basically everything for the product. Now let's go unboxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth or not. So for this projector, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys in the market looking for a high quality portable projector. That's super portable, give you guys a high quality audio. And also if you guys do have a low budget for projectors, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But the obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out and it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.